medication errors are a healthcare nightmare. And this study is vital because it addresses how critical it is to avoid them. Safety in every dose, care in every step. Good day, everyone. We are from BN3A1B, and today, we are thrilled to present to you our research entitled Level of Adherence on Medication Administration Safety Practices Among Nursing Students by Bailon, Burdaje, Bulahan, Chavez, and Quadra. The study aimed to determine the level of adherence to medication administration safety practices among nursing students during their clinical exposures. Through this, we aim to assess how well students apply the 10 rights of medication administration in real-life clinical settings and identify factors associated with their adherence levels. For the research design, the researchers use a quantitative descriptive design to describe the adherence levels, provide an overview of the issue, and quantify distribution of relevant variables through a survey questionnaire. For this study sample, we gathered responses from 413 participants out of 636 nursing students from levels 2, 3, and 4 enrolled at University in Bacolod City. The researchers utilized stratified random sampling with Slovin formula at 5% margin of error. A digital spin of wheel application was also used for fair random selection with each section and year level. For the instrument, the researchers adopted the Standardized Patient Safety Assessment in Medication Administration, or ASPAM, by Araujo and others 2019. It has a 28-item questionnaire covering adherence to 10 rights of medication administration using the 5-point Likert scale, 1 as never, and 5 as always. The Cronbach's Alpha scored 0 0.85, indicating a high level of reliability. For results and discussion, the study included 413 nursing students with the majority being female at 75.1%, while male students accounted for 24.9%. Supported by Prosen back at 2022, this finding was that the female is greater than males, which implies that females continue to dominate the nursing profession. In terms of year level, level two students made up the largest proportion, representing 35.8% followed by the level 4 students at 33.2%, and the level 3 students at 31%. Supported by Blash and Spets back at 2021, higher enrollment in lower years than higher years may be due to attrition and retention policies. The level of adherence results showed a very high overall adherence with a mean of 4.58. Both male and female students showed very high levels with females at 4.59 and males at 4.56. Level 4 had the highest adherence at 4.66, followed by level 3 at 4.58 and level 2 at 4.50. Aligned with Robkova and others 2023, this suggests that greater experience and clinical exposure lead to higher adherence in final year nursing students. In terms of relationship between level of adherence and profile variables, the results indicate that while sex does not significantly influence adherence to medication administration safety practices, year level does have a statistically significant but weak association with adherence. This implies that adherence is similar across both sex, but increases with year level, as supported by Osuchoku and others in 2024. For SOP number four, in terms of the difference between the level of adherence and profile variables, there is no significant difference in adherence to medication safety practices based on sex or year level. Supported by Craig and others 2021, who found no difference in both sex indicating it doesn't affect the level of adherence. For the conclusion, researchers concluded that nursing students demonstrate a very high adherence to medication administration safety practices with level 4 students showing the highest adherence and no significant impact from sex or year level. These findings affirm the effectiveness of current teaching strategies and clinical supervision and nursing education, highlighting the importance of consistent experience-based learning to strengthen medication safety adherence. For the recommendation to the universities, integrate more simulation and medication safety training early in curriculum. For the instructors, reinforce the 10 rights of medication administration and expand supervised clinical practice. 
for the healthcare institutions provide secure, well supervised clinical training environments and strong academic partnerships. To the nursing students, seek more opportunities to practice, always uphold the 10 rights, and actively seek clarifications. For the patients, participate by asking about and giving feedback on their med medications. And lastly, for the future researchers, broaden sample sizes, include more variables such as workload and supervision, and replicate studies in other settings. This study highlights the importance of fostering a culture of safety in healthcare to prevent errors and save lives. Thank you for your attention.